our Father is in the house. And without wasting any time, may I invite to you, our Father, our Prophet, Bishop Doug Heward Mills. Hallelujah. Wow. What a blessing. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, thank you for tonight and thank you for the great opportunity you have given to us. We are so blessed to be here today. Speak to our hearts. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Now, we are supposed to have 21 days of 21 days of glory. Today is day nine. So today is day nine. All right. It's coming on practically. Now let me start by saying that we are declaring 2024 uh, as a year of work. A year of work. Amen. Are you excited about a year of work? Some people were expecting a year of prosperity, a year of uh, dominion, a year of turnaround. But it is a year of work. Amen. A year of work. Hallelujah. A year of work. Now, number one. It is my year of work. As I give myself to work, I shall have a better life than those who rest and sleep instead of working for the Lord. Are you writing that? It is my year, I shall have a better life than those who rest and sleep instead of working for the Lord. Work is better than rest because there are six days of work and one day of rest. Work is better than rest. Now, Exodus chapter 20, verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Whenever we are resting, or whenever there is a Sabbath to rest, uh, it is important that everybody rests. Because if one person comes to work, it causes work for other people. That is why the man servant, the maid servant, uh, the cattle, and the strangers are all not supposed to work because if only one person comes to work it generates work for others so usually when we are t taking a time of all the parties and factors should be at rest amen now it says for in six days the lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Amen. Amen. So, God rested for one day 
and worked for six days. So six over seven is what percentage? Six over seven times 100. Art students, oh, use your calculator. You have spoiled the world with all your banks and all your things and your loans. So calculate six over seven times 100. How much is it? 85.7% was work. Now, if you look in the world, you ask yourself, why do people migrate from Ghana? They are looking for work. Do you think they are going for holidays? Why, why are people trying to go to America? For holiday? No, they are looking for work. In America, in England today, they are moving. So many people are coming to England and are staying in hotels because you cannot sack them when they come as refugees. So, so many people are coming that they want to take them to Rwanda. Now, so Rwanda has also built hostels. For them, for those who have come to England, plenty. All the hotels are full. And they feed them every day. And what, why are they, what are these people doing there? They have come to the UK for work. There's no work at where they are. When your parents send you to school, why do they send you to school? So that you can get work to do. Go to America. Every day, 10,000 people cross into America from Mexico and those people. If you can find the picture, the caravan. They are crossing. They are coming. We are coming to America. Why, why are they coming to What are they coming to do there? They want work. They want something to do. You see, work is like water. It is when it is not there that you will see the importance of it. So a government's job usually is to provide or do something so that there is work for the people. And you see they are crossing into America. 10,000 every day. Please find that picture. Do, do, are your people like that? Can they find things? Huh? Yes. <laughs> so Christians, our lives are destroyed when we don't have work to do for God. Because Christianity is not go to church one now the services have been shortened to one hour 20 minutes two three three slow songs three fast songs offering four, four minutes prayer preaching for 27 minutes two one song offering close that's Christianity once a week that's not Christianity Listen, when people are sent to prison, eh, solitary confinement, supermax prison in America, the, the, the room is 10 feet by 7 feet. My height is 6 feet, so 7 feet like this, by 10 feet. And they are there for life. To rest, look, there is a bed, here is toilet, here is water, running water, here is a bed. Food is brought to you three times a day. Rest, everything is okay for the rest of your life. It's, it's rather than a death sentence. And the guys who bomb uh, the 
World Trade Center and those, some of them who they call, they are in a prison like that. It's called a supermax prison, concrete. Every day, you'll be there like this. Rest, just rest. You, you are set for life, like in terms of food, bed, where to sleep, toilet. You have your own toilet. Most of us don't have our own toilet. He has his own toilet. Chale is the wildest torture is to not have work. That is why Christianity is not enjoyed by many people. It's almost like torture. Just be there and just receive a message once a week. That is why God has given us to declare this a year of work. It's a year of work. That's all. Hallelujah. Number two. As I give myself to the work of God, I shall become closer to the one I work with. I shall become closer to the one that I'm working with. Now, John chapter 5, verse 17. You are going to become closer to the person you work with. Look at it. Jesus said, My father worketh, and he that and I work. Change the version. Change the version, please. Uh -huh. But Jesus defended himself. My father is working straight to even... A, no, no, change it, change it. American NIV something. He said, my father is working until now, and I myself am working. My father is working, and I'm also working. What work was Jesus doing? Jesus said, I must be about my father's business. So in 2024, you are going to work just as your father. Because your father is working, you also work. And when you work as your father is working, one of the great advantages is that you become close to people that you work with. The, 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 anybody you work with, you'll be close to the person. That is why many people have affairs at work. Because you easily be close to somebody that you are working with. Are you listening to me? Yes. So, God is going, you're going to become closer to somebody that you work with. When we started to build the first church building, the brother who was building, I was close to him. I call him every day. Several times a day, I know his number up to 02775. There's something that's the number. I know it up to today, automatic. Do you know your father's number? Yes. Look at the people they are going. Look at them. Show the picture. They are going to America. 10,000 a day they cross. They are going to work in America every day. 10,000 cross over. Wow. It's the wildest crisis they have ever seen. 10,000. Every day. For what? They are going to look for work. They want something to do. It's like whether we have accommodation, whether we, we have no suitcase, we have nothing. Only we want work. Let us work in your supermarket. Let us clean the road. Let us give us something to do. You see, you will never know the greatness of having had the opportunity to work for God. That is given to you in this ministry. Yes. You never know the greatness of that great opportunity. That has been given to you to do something for God. Yeah. Most people stop working for God as soon as they finish university. That is it. My father works and I'm working. That's all. My father is working and I'm also working. 
And since we are all working in the same business, we end up being close. As soon as you stop working with them, I am close to the people that I work with. If I don't work with you, I'm not likely to be close to you. And to be close to somebody is, is an advantage. You know, one day somebody asked me, the person, she had uh, two jobs. One was a higher salary and one was a lower salary. And came to ask me advice. Which job should I take? I said, this one is where this one said, This one, I said, take this one. She said, why? I said, because this one, you'll be closer to a particular person. This one, the, job, the money is more. <laughs> but this one, you are closer. And closer, there are many advantages of being close. When people lose their ability to be close, they've lost the greatest thing. That's the presence of God. That's why uh, 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 Moses said, if your presence doesn't go with us, we don't want to go anywhere. The presence of God is in churches that work. Not just churches, oh, we are singing, 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 singing. Singing, singing, worship songs, worship songs. The person who is working with you are close to the person. Tell me whether I'm lying or not. At your workplace, are you not closer to the people that you work with? Tell the truth. Why are you looking at me as if I'm lying? It's a year of work. I said it's a year of work. And we are going to work for God as though we have never worked before. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Number three. As I give myself to the work of the Lord, it will become my meat, my source of satisfaction, of leisure, my source of leisure, happiness, joy. Jesus himself said it. As I work, it will become, the work will become my source of happiness, my source of joy, my source of leisure, even pleasure. As I work, it will become, the work will become the source of joy, pleasure, leisure, happiness, satisfaction. I'm telling you. Jesus said, John 4, he said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. He was there when his disciples brought, they had gone to, what is this place here called? Where they make food here. Papaye and then there's another one. Zuzus. Well, and Kenzo. Yes. And they brought food. And Jesus said, no, I, have, I have something that is making me happy. I have something that is making me very happy. It gives me pleasure. It gives me leisure. It gives me satisfaction. It makes me strong. It makes me energetic. Meat does meat not give you energy? Years ago, when I was at Kolibu Hospital, I remember when one day we came to the ward and the doctor was taking us around as medical students. We came to a lady, she was very lean, fair colored, she was from Ethiopia. So, the, the, the professor asked us, it was, I think, my, my first or one of the first days on the ward. He said, what, what is wrong with this lady? We look at the woman and say, I, we don't know. Is it cancer? Is it tuberculosis? Is it HIV? We didn't know what it was. Then he told us, she is hungry. She has not eaten. That's all. There was nothing wrong with her. She had no sickness. That's why she was lying there without any. She had not had meat or food. That scripture, my meat, it is my food. And it had affected her so much that we couldn't put food into her mouth. They had to put her on a drip and she died. I mean, she couldn't even take anything in. The lack of food had killed her. So when you don't do the work of God, you don't have meat, real meat that gives energy. 
What do you think is giving me energy? This meet that I'm doing, the work that I'm doing is giving me the energy. Yeah. It's my source of energy. That's why we stay after church. We'll be here to the night. We don't easily go home. We know what we want. Don't let anybody deceive you that it's not good to work for the Lord. That is my meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is my meat. My meat is my energy. My energy. Energy. All the lay pastors, we don't call them, you know what it's called now? Assisted, uh, what? Self, so, uh, self-supporting. All out self-supporting. A-O-S-S. All out self-supporting ministers. Yes. Even they will tell you that that is, their, that is what makes them happy. That's what gives them energy. That's what gives them life. Yes, my meat is to do the will of him that's, and to finish his work. What a meat. So, beginning from today, this year is your year of work. Yes. That means that it's your year of meat, energy, life, happiness. Happiness and joy is going to come into your life. What a blessing. So, work for the Lord. Work for the Lord. Work for the Lord. Amen. Number four. Your work is your evidence. Your work is what? Your evidence. John 5, 36. I have a greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father has given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. Your work is your evidence. More work you do, more evidence. Forget plenty speeches and talking about so many things. Show me your work and I will tell you who you are. My, Jesus said, the work that you do, that is the way I have a greater witness or evidence. You see, show me your work. Your work is your evidence. Look at it. I have greater witness than that of John. In other words, I have more evidence on my side than John. I'm a greater minister than John. Why? Because the works which the Father has given me to finish, those same works that I do, they are giving evidence about who I am. When Bishop Oko passed, passed on, right, the works that he had, it was the evidence of who he was. His works are greater evidence than some of us. Yes, your works are your evidence. You can give speeches, you can talk, you can say words and people will believe but the evidence, the real evidence the work that you are doing yeah, the real evidence is the work yeah it will be more difficult for some of you to raise ten thousand dollars than for me I may more easily raise ten thousand dollars because there is more evidence right. of the work that I'm doing. Right. That there'll be there will be more people ready to say, take ten thousand dollars. We will ask you more questions. Easy. Work is evidence. So that's the it's not nya, 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 not about UAP. It is about the evidence of what you are doing. It's not a way more sunny. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is not about talking. You can say many things, but the work, show me your work, and I'll know who you are. That's why it's a year of work. It's a year of gathering evidence. Some of you, if you die, the brochure of your life will be very small like this. Your, the brochure of your life, it will be a, this is one, one leaflet. It will be a tract. When we were preparing the
brochure for Bishop Pogo. We have to remove so many things. Because it was becoming more, more, more. We couldn't even, I mean, how are we going to even print it? We have to remove so many things. The works are the evidence of who you are. So get to the job and do the work. And don't sit there with big, big words. It's a year of gathering evidence. Yes. As to who you are in God and in the ministry. Even if you don't clap, I will still preach. (laughs) Number five. Do not work for earthly things. John chapter 6 verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Which the Son of Man shall give you. For him has God the Father sealed. Change the version to the American, please. Beautiful. Huh? Change the version, please. Do not work for the food that perishes. Don't work for, you see, don't work for earthly things. In other words, he said, all your earthly things you are doing, eh, don't do it. But rather work for food the, which endures to eternal life. It's interesting that we are doing the opposite. We are working for earthly things. And the eternal things we are not giving ourselves to. So, you see, what does it mean? Because we all have jobs to do. Yeah. What it means is that your whole life must be geared towards eternity and not that eternity is just something on the side. You must work for the Lord with all your heart. Even your secular work is geared towards eternity. You ask yourself, all the things you are doing, how is it contributing? Contributing. How people have to beg you for money. You know, one man of God said to me, you know, he said, when you see people raising funds, and you, you wonder why one person doesn't get up and just sort it out. I believe this year, people are going to get up and say, stop, stop, stop this. I, I am irritated by this uh, fundraising you are doing. 100 cities, 50 cities, bring this, this, this on me. How much is this thing? Receive that grace to be able to sort things out. All the work you are doing must be directed towards eternity. Labor not for the meat that perishes. Labor not for the meat that perishes. I didn't write the Bible. Don't work for the food which perishes. And I don't believe that it's only people that are full time. I, you know, I remember the day I was born again. I remember the day I received the Holy Spirit and started speaking in tongues. I remember the day I proposed to my wife. I remember the day I married her. I remember the day I did engagement. I remember so many days. But I'll tell you one day that I don't remember. Shall I tell you one day that I don't remember? Or I'm going to first love to tell the people the one day that I don't remember. I'm going, I'm going to the center to tell the people. Do you want to know the day that I don't remember? The day that I don't remember is the day that I became full time. In the ministry. I don't remember that day. Because it, I don't have a day that I became a full-time minister. I've always been all out. I don't have a day that from this day, I changed my whole life and then I started to give myself to do the work of God and to work for eternal things. I don't, re- I don't have a day. That I don't remember. But I remember a lot of days. But I don't remember any day that I came full time. So this year, I see you all out working for the Lord. Yes, working for the Lord. And God himself is going to bless you and reward you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for this invitation. Beautiful. Wow. Labor not for the meat that perishes. How many houses can you use? How many toilets can you sit on? 
How many urinals can you urinate into? How many pillows can you use? How many rooms can you sleep in? How much money can you use? Years ago, I used to, I heard, I said, Bill Gates said he's not going to give his money to his children. I didn't understand it. But when you grow, you will understand. And it, 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 it doesn't even make sense. You cannot use it. You cannot even use the money. You, if I thought that you cannot even give it. When you give it, the people can't receive it. Yeah. Let us do eternal things. Yes. There are some projects, I have not mentioned them, but things that are all with eternal visions and values. Yeah, that's all that I want to do. Labor for the meat, not the meat that perishes, but for the meat that does not perish, that will endure to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. It's a year of work. Wow. And now, how can we do the work? Hey, ask somebody, so how, how should we do the work? All right, John chapter 6, verse 28. Mm. And they said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? What, what should we do that we might work the works? How many want to know what to do to work the works of God, to do the work of God. Are you sure you want to know? Are you sure you really want to know? This is the work of God. That you believe on him whom he has sent. You see, the work of God is to believe things. Believe is to obey. Obey, believe and obey. Believe and obey God. When the Lord says to you something, believe it and obey it. That's the work of God. Many of us don't actually believe. But this year, you are going to be called a believer. A believer. The more things you believe, the more work you do. The more you believe, the more you work. One day the Lord said to me, I felt, I believed the Lord said, I should do crusades. Those of you who've been in the church for some time, remember, I was not doing crusades before. Yes. But one day I said, no, I feel the Lord wants me to do crusades. I just believe. That's how to do the work of God. You have to believe. Yes. This field you have here, this car park, it, it's a crusade ground. Yes, it's a crusade ground you have there, outside there. Yeah. You can have crusade outside here every week. Yes. A crusade, this year, just here. Where will you get a space like this? Yes, you can have. You see this hall? It's a, it's a hall for breakfast meetings. Yes. It's if you believe and if you will obey. Working for God is about believing. When God said to me, honor Kenneth Hagin, honor him. When the Lord said to me, honor Archbishop Duncan William, that, I believe it. That's how to work for God. Believe things that he tells you and just do it. Yeah, that's all. Believe. Let you, what if you want to work for God? Jesus said, how can we work for God? What, what should we do so that we can work for God? Believe. You know, you have to believe more of the things. Many of you have the books. You don't even read them. How to even believe the things that are there. Start believing more things this year. I am looking for something more to believe. I want, I want something to believe. One day, I was praying somewhere. And after seven days, God had not spoken to me about anything unusual. And I was very depressed because I felt, I've, I mean, not that I've wasted my time, but I, I don't understand why I'm here. Then I slept. And I saw cripples in my dream. And then when I woke up, I was crying for them. The, the pillow was wet. And I was crying for them. And the Lord said to me I should do something for them. That is the hope center that we built. We do, we do the, for amputations and 
people that are crippled and what have you that is that is the work of god the work of god is when god speaks to you you believe that god has told you something i mean how when will you believe again when you get to heaven when you get to heaven you can't believe you will see it fully fully whatever god tells you believe god and do it now do it now do it now and believe in it now and you find yourself one of the greatest workers for god in this life yes look at me oh. i've been praying to see jesus so that i'll talk to jesus i'll shake his hand so that i'll come and tell you up to today it hasn't happened you get what i'm saying have you heard me talking about it before i said the lord will show appear i'll pray i'll open my eyes he's not there still up to today but what am i doing blessed is he that has not seen but he believes and i'm working for the lord i'm working for the lord i'm working for jesus i'm giving my whole life for jesus i'm 60 years old and i've been working since i was 25 i was a pastor i'm still working since i was 16 i've been working for him yes by believing the things that he has told me to do yeah that's how to work for god believe things the more you believe the more you find yourself in his work yeah Turn to John chapter 9. Last point. Oh, yes. It is my work, year of work. I must work with every opportunity I get. Oh, I am into opportunity driven work. Everybody say, I am into opportunity driven work. I am an opportunist when it comes to the work of God. John chapter 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Wow. I must work. That's Jesus. While it is day, four years ago, today, exactly four years ago uh, was 2019 December 31st we were all celebrating and we are saying we are entering a new year we didn't know what was coming on. all the prophets nobody prophesied it those who could see far nobody saw that in March in March he threw airport Kotoka airport every airport was going to close down and was going to remain closed for almost two years no it was during the pandemic that we started flow church that is when i saw charlie if there's an opportunity to work and work because the night comes when the opportunity can be taken away from you yeah one day I visited a man in the hospital. He had cancer. He was dying. And he said to me, even then he still was still, you know, waving. He said, if I can be discharged, maybe I'll even work for the Lord. Yes. I said, wow. He was never discharged. Listen, me, I don't watch soccer. I'm not uh, into soccer. I'm not into soccer. But a few days ago, I put on my television and I saw, I don't even know which team was playing, one of the British something. Then I saw the guy cross the ball. Then there was a guy standing near the ball. No, that's why he has caught. I said, hey, very fast. I realized the guy is an opportunist. Any opportunity, he just caught immediately. I mean, there was no he didn't allow at all just immediately score but there are some players when the ball comes to them they'll be doing something and you see that we we, we don't score have you seen Ghana playing before (laughs) a lot of opportunities and say go oh and it's not a (laughs) goal Look, there were some people. That's why there were people like Drogba, 
and uh, I don't know, Ronaldinho and some of those guys. When they are in the area and an opportunity comes, that is it. Finish, everything will be done. Beginning from today, you are going to be a star opportunist when it comes to the work of God. Yes. When an opportunity comes to do something for God, you see that you are there. No meetings, discussions. Can I see you after? Can I talk about this? No, 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 no. Every chance you get, anything that comes your way, I heard Bishop Oyedepo saying, anytime there is an opportunity to give, I never miss my chance. Yes. When they say give for something, I never miss it. An opportunity yeah. An opportunity to work. You say, how many people can help with this? Is there anybody who can do this? And that's your, your moment. Move in. Move in. Take your chance. There's a song which says that we must take every chance of doing good for the Lord. When it's done, it's done for eternity. We must take every opportunity to do good for the Lord. Yes. We'll be traveling. When Bishop Oko was here, I called, I said, Oko, from now, I want you to teach children. He said, yeah, really? I said, yes. How? I said, take them and take the arrangement, the round that they do, round, they sit round with the children, small, small, small chairs. Arrange them like a church and preach to them. Yes, bishop. That's all. That's Oko. Yes, bishop. And he took that opportunity. That's what made him famous. Well, few of our pastors, we have 6,000 pastors, can claim the fame and the impact and the influence that he had. Yeah, because he took the chance. When the ball came to him, he played straight. There was no meeting about it. Are you not tired of footballers who receive the ball in the area that you see doing something, doing something, doing something? Ah, why don't you score the ball? Oh. Africa Cup is coming. They will do it again. <laughs> Jesus said, I must work while it is there, which means I must work whilst I get the opportunity. Because I can see that the next moment there will be no opportunity again. The next moment there will be no opportunity. Yeah, next moment there will be no opportunity to be gone. I must take every opportunity of doing good to the lost. It is worthwhile to push ourselves for this gospel. So I declare this a year of work. Yeah. And God is going to bless you as you work for him. Amen. Turn with me finally to Colossians chapter 3. As we close, I want to show you this verse. Beautiful. Hmm. Verse 23. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. And whatsoever you do in 2024, do it what? Hearty. Which means from your heart. Heart and then illy. Heart and then what? Illy. Heart illy. From your heart. As I'm preaching to you, am I preaching from my heart? Or I'm preaching to you uh, 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 something that is written. That we are reading out to you. Heartily. Love God heartily. Sing in the choir heartily. Serve God from your heart. Whatever you do, do it heartily. Beautiful. As unto the Lord. You are never doing any Some of you, and I wanted to do it to please you. I would, Lord, you cannot please me. Please God. Love God yourself. You and God. Straight, straight, direct between you and God. Do it from your heart. Verse 24. Knowing that of the Lord, you shall receive the reward. Of what? The inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ. You know your reward is an inheritance. You know what an inheritance is? It's like somebody's life work gives it to you. 
when my father died he gave his children he gave us a hotel a whole hotel his life's work i give it to you that's it i inherited straight suddenly a whole life's work was loaded on me the god says that the kind of reward look at it the kind of reward he says whatsoever you do do it heartily knowing that of the lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance that's 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 the reward you are going to get it's going to be in that order the order of inheritance rewards you just he'll just load you he'll just load you he will just load you and suddenly you see that ah, this thing this is what people work for all their lives i have things god has blessed me that it's like people are dying for it's amazing all your life's work you see that god will give you life's work it's inheritance and finally he gives a little warning at the end the last verse but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done yes he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done there is no respect of persons yes he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done for there is no respect of persons it's a year of work instead of doing bad things you are going to work and by the way when you work you see that you have no energy for bad things it's idle people who have time for bad things yeah but i see you working for jesus and i see you becoming closer to the lord stand to your feet everybody lift your hands father thank you for a year of work of good work thank you for everyone who is part of the kodesh and part of the church worldwide all those watching online thank you it's a good year a year of good steps into good things into good work bless everyone that yields himself to your great work we love you and we thank you father which art in heaven lay your hands on your head right now father anoint all your children to be workers and servants and laborers let them now taste of the meat the pleasure the leisure the energy and the life that comes to those who work for you i bless them and i thank you that they are released to be a great army a great army a great army of lovers and servants of the lord we give you thanks and we give you praise in the name of jesus lift your hands the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord be with you every day that you work for him. The Lord help you every step of the way through 2024 as you serve him with all your heart. May you find peace. And may you find answers. And may you find help. May the Lord be with you. May his presence be with you as you orient yourself to work for him in this year of work. Whatever you have called work before will not be compared with the kind of work you are going to do from now onwards. And truly, this great opportunity, you shall not miss it. The Lord give you peace. And the Lord choose you as one of his special best servants in 2024 may you be pleasing to jesus in 2024 may jesus choose you and like you more than others because of how you are addicted to his work and addicted to his ministry the lord bless your families 
The Lord bless your children. The Lord bless your houses. The Lord bless all that is yours. And the Lord strengthen your hand as you love him and you serve him. In the name of he who died on the cross and rose up triumphantly after three days. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blessing of the Lord is here and shall remain here all through 2024 in Jesus name and everyone shouted amen God bless you God bless you God bless you give the Lord a mighty clap offering your year of work tell somebody my year of work has come finally finally arrived my year of work I will no more be in a prison where I cannot work or in a country where I cannot work or in a church where I cannot work or in a place where I cannot work. I am delivered and blessed to be in a house of work. Give the Lord a shout and praise. God bless you.